you know our story already. When the world started, all of us were on the same ground. On your marks, get set. Whilst America started running fast with the Usain Bolt anointing. Africa with that same anointing, but it was in the opposite. Africa started going this way. Amen. And then another part that rules Africa is the village spirit. Say village spirit. Village Village is not a location. Village is a mentality. The heart of the people that live in the village. That's what makes it a village. Praise God. Everything is very fascinating when you travel to the villages. To them, bread is a great deal or a big deal. To somebody, greeting. The village spirit will love greeting. And even if you don't greet them, they can kill. So, the way the village spirit thinks is different. They read meaning into everything. Oh, so you brought bread so you can mock me. We shall see. So, you sent your children to school so you can mock me. When my children have not gone to school or when I don't have even children. So, the village mentality has kept people in bondage. Today, it will interest you to know that many people who are wearing Agbada suits in Accra, when they are traveling to their villages, they will look for Chalewati. They have to be very normal. I have seen very rich men park their cars in my hometown from afar. And they walk. Some even disguise themselves. Pouring saliva on their own cheeks. Why? Because an Natalia will spot them. That is the village spirit. Praise God. <laughs> Say fire. When you speak English in a village, it's an insult to them. When were you born? Especially when you rhyme or you speak the Elizabethan English. How are you doing? The only thing say, oh! It's me, you are saying, how are you doing? So, there is a way the village spirit thinks. Okay? Amen. Amen. So, in the village, you don't need to offend anyone that they are offended. The fact that you are alive, someone is offended. Say village spirit. Die by fire. When you send your children to school and then your auntie is not able to send her children to school, what happens? The struggle. The village spirit will not even allow you to be brilliant in class. In fact, when you are answering every question, your friends already they abhor you. Who does she think he is? Who does she think he is? That's how the village spirit developed. By the help of the spirit of witchcraft. Praise God. In this country, when two women are quarreling, say, Nabe yenu se mini bimpoa. Or see me call latte. Jamaako hobiana. Praise God. Which means they have the witchcraft already. But they want a double dose. Double portion of Elijah's anointing. Say fire. So the spirit of witchcraft must be confronted in Africa. Because you don't know when you have offended somebody. When you are not smiling, you don't smile. When you are smiling too, you are smiling too much. Amen. Amen. So that is why we are where we are because of the village spirit. Remember, the donkey was tied in the village at the two junctions. Why the village? Because that donkey was a prophetic donkey and uh, very strange prophecies that that donkey was going to carry the master himself. The villagers said, No, this donkey must be tied until Jesus sent messengers. Today, I'm those messengers God has sent that whoever has tied you down, the limitations of your father's house, the limitations of your mother's house that will not allow you to be released. Today, you are loosed from that prison 
in the name of Jesus. As God's word is coming, you are loose already. Say, say, and it came to pass when he was come nigh to Bethage and Bethany at the mount called the Mount of Olives. He sent two of his disciples. God is sending somebody here today. You are being sent to your father's house because there are multitudes that are still tied under the oppression of the oppressors, under the oppression of the village spirit. Fire. Praise God. In this country, you can't even say you have money. And it's in church. Many of you are sitting on testimonies because you are careful. Because especially to those who are family members here. Some have even left church because of another family member. So the village spirit is not a location, sir. The village spirit is an attitude. It's a structure. It's a system. It is an organization. That is why many people who even travel abroad, they kill themselves there and then some are deported as cargoes. So you better avoid a black man when you travel outside. Many of the deportations, they are done by the blacks. A white man has no time to go in there and implicate you. Of course, unless you want to marry the person, the person you are trying to play with the person's heart. Women don't joke with that thing. That one, they will let you be deported after they have taken your properties. But the blacks and blacks, they deport each other. As soon as they see a policeman, say, check that black man. There must be something about him. And then, the next minute, on who was, hey, Minya, Nyamin Shirawai. Amen. The true story is told of a, a Rasta, Rastafarian. He's a Rasta man. He didn't have papers. Then another person went to choke him. So the police went in. They saw the Rasta man. Then the Rasta man said, he was bringing his papers. Then he went through the other door. Pew. Gone. And quickly he ran into a saloon to shave off the Rasta. <laughs> so he showed the Rasta and started walking as a normal man. So the police said, yeah, didn't you receive Rasta? I said, oh, no. Rasta. Oh. He was also asking, don't, don't you know any Rasta? Around? Because what makes him a rasta is gone. <laughs> Praise God. At the workplace, somebody can undermine you. Somebody can write letters against you and the same person will say, oh, the Lord is with you. We are praying. It's, it's, that's the village spirit. Pure witchcraft. Undiluted. It doesn't matter. They say undiluted honey. <laughs> undiluted witchcraft. Be ye. And pastors have caught that spirit more than any other people. They will not allow you to rise. There are people who know the mistakes of everybody, but they don't have any mistake. So he sent the disciples, and what happened? Verse 13. He said, Go ye into the village over against you. So the village is already against. In which at your entering you shall find a court tied fire. Whereon yet never man has sat on. So it was a virgin court. No man has ever sat on. Praise God. May the Lord preserve you from the eyes of the vultures. Yeah. Some of you you made it through your family by fire. Because what they wanted to do to you, even when your mother conceived you, uh, because they're able to spot destinies from afar. Look at what Herod said. He said, go and look for that new king. I also want to worship. I just came to worship. I just want to worship. <laughs> he said, bring me back word. Let me just worship. I heard there's a new king. Let me just worship. Ghana in worship. I just want to worship. <laughs> Praise God. But the Bible said he sought for an occasion to kill that newborn baby. 
Whoever has vowed that you will not reign, whilst they are still alive, die by fire. Amen. Yes. You need to be angry. We don't agree. Yesterday we were preaching at a place in La Paz and I was saying that you can't change what you tolerate. You can't change what you are comfortable with. So it shows in the way people pray and they approach. Your approach determines whether you are approach or you move to the next level. You can't change when you are happy with poverty. Oh, Abushen Wemu Desa. Every Nananumusu, Nanakansu, diabetes, and a year. So they have customized diabetes. It's the customized one. See fire. <laughs> Every day you look at yourself and you think you are making it, remember that you could have been 100 times better than who you are. Yeah. Your full glory has not come out yet. The original glory, the true weight for which God created you, when it shows up, nations will bow for you. Amen. So, we are here to Make sure that that exhaust that is choked with so much smoke will be released. Amen. So your destiny can be freed. Amen. When there's so much exhaust in a car, the car cannot run at the pace at which it must run. People ask, her, is it the Kanika? Your destiny must be released. Amen. Your life must be loosed. Amen. Say fire. fire. He says, lose him. And bring him what? Hither. So you have been loose today. And then bring him thither. And look at what happened. Verse 31. The Philly Spirit. And if any man ask you, why are you losing him? Thou shall ye say unto him, because the Lord has need of it. So let's look at when they went and what happened. Praise God. You are for the Lord. The Lord has need of you. You are his workmanship. You are an instrument. It doesn't matter how people have painted you. It doesn't matter how people see you. But there is an original document concerning your life. Praise God. And the Bible said, And they that were sent went their way and found even as he had said unto them. So Jesus here was operating by the gift of the word of wisdom. The word of wisdom talks about the future. Okay, uh, Predicting the future. So many of the end time prophecies was used by the word of wisdom. And then the word of knowledge talks about the far past or the immediate past. Like when Jesus met the Samaritan woman and the woman was trying to play a fast one on Jesus and said she was a virgin. <laughs> he said, are you married? The, the woman said, lie, lie. I don't know a man. Then Jesus said, you are saying when he said you do not have a husband but you have had five husbands. Fire. That was an old traco. Old trata. And what happened? And as they and, this, and as they were losing the court, when your life was being loosed, the owners from the village go back. Are they serious? Whoever says they own you. No, no, no. Sometimes. No, sometimes like that. Sometimes people can even use emotions to own your life. Yeah. Because as soon as they cry, you are helpless. So very soon you have become an Ahab. They will Ahabalize you with their tears. So as soon as they make their face away, that's manipulation. And if you are not careful, you you condescend. Meanwhile, you know they are wrong. So make you no know fear face. Oh. Tell them, make you know the fear face. And make you know the fear tears. <laughs> because witchcraft, among other things, is the spirit of control. He says, they will ask, why are you losing the court? Because this court has been here for long. Eh? This family, why are you losing them? 
Why must they go to school? The village spirit does not want people to even go to primary. And if they even try, they will end up as farmers. And not hand to mouth farmers will not non national uh, <laughs> chief farmer. <laughs> Say fire. fire. Praise God. Oh, fire. fire. There are people who are even married to the farm. They do everything in the farm. They, they wake up in the farm. They work in the farm. They sleep again. Oh, fire. fire. And you are talking about hand to mouth. They are managing. The father managed and left it. When I was about dying, he said, the land, the land there is for you. Cultivate it more. When others are living good. <laughs> say fire. fire. Some are living houses. They are just showing another land to cultivate again. Say fire. fire. <laughs> it was your grandfather that gave it to me. It's a special land. Oh, fire. fire. Yeah, village spirit. I don't know who is owning you. Ask your neighbor who owns your life. life? That they will not allow you to be free. And that's a serious thing. The battle has come into your bosom now. And then I want to go in. I will show you. Where do you think you are going? It's a fire. Somebody park his car. And in the night, they defecated on the car. Ah, that car. They became a curse car. <laughs> they climbed top of the car, defecated on the car. Adding Africa. They turned the car into the local toilet. Not even what I could say to. Because they didn't flash it. It was still on the, the fire. <laughs> That is the village spirit for you. And that was the end of the car. The owner, by the following day, started, oh, today, they say engine boot. Tomorrow, the driver not. The other day, they say, ah, the driver did not come. Oh. oh, story. Now the car is a downhill. <laughs> One woman was going to buy, you know, the man, the husband wanted to buy a car to use for taxi. Because apparently, the man had been selling for the wife in her shop. Then the woman said, No, you must remain selling here. Well, there are families you marry into. You ask Ahab, he will tell you. <laughs> Praise God. Obama said, There be. And then the man or and went to buy the car. Oh, the woman, oh, oh, you. Now, the car, every day, problem. Every day, problem. Every day, problem. Every day, problem. So, they have to park the car permanently at the workshop. When the fittest are driving the car, the car is working. But when the man sits in the car, it won't go again. So, they, they were frustrated because no money again. Then, the woman said, I told you, I told you this thing. You were meant to sell for me. Mm. Say fire. And there are many here that Satan want to enslave your destiny. Oh, I love her. I, you know, when I, when I see her, something just. Tell you never watch it. Verse 34. And they said, The Lord has need of you today. Whoever will defy the order and the authority of God, let them die by fire. The Lord has need of you. And there is nothing that witches and wizards can do. There is nothing that occultic man can ever do. The Lord has need of you. You are an instrument in God's hands. God will use you to glorify his name. No man can decree anything against you. It shall not stand. Every charm they are using, every definition they are using, let it be broken down. And let's jump to our main scripture in Genesis chapter 12. Genesis chapter 12. And we look at the first family of God 
which is the Abrahamic family. Amen. Because we are patterned after the order of Abraham. And we, let's look at how it started. Because of our time, we can't go to chapter 11. But you notice that the promise of moving into Canaan or into a new land was made to the father. But the father died along the line because the father was trying to relocate. But we are praying today that whatever has tied you down on the same spot, that you can't move. Because when you study about the Abrahamic family, as many of you know, it was uh, predominantly an idol worshipping house. Everybody served idols, including the father of Abraham. Okay? So, the, the, the God needed to come to Abraham after the death of the father and say, look at what he said. He said, now. He said, now. So, they took the story from somewhere. So, he said, now, the Lord has said unto who? Into Abraham, not Abraham. The ham was stolen by the father's house, by the geographical location, by the village in which he was born. I decree today, whatever will steal your glory, whatever will steal that completeness of what God has for you, let it receive fire now in the name of Jesus. People who said, oh, all they do is to pray against the enemies, you don't understand the Bible. You don't understand scriptures. You can't fulfill your destiny in this part of the world without fire and thunder. It's by fire by thunder. Amen. Look at some of the things you've got and you realize that you needed to pray so much. Why? Is God wicked? No. Because of the hindering forces. Invisible battles. Barriers. He said, you are not going anywhere. He said, the first day you started praying, there was an answer released by the prince of the power of what? He said, no, you are not going anywhere. And those were goats. Goats. That came to inhibit the prayers of Daniel. So Daniel thought he was praying, but there was a contention in the realm of the spirit. And sometimes you can just see there's a contention. So the way they chase you in your dreams is a message telling you that there must be something happening somewhere. And then when you wake up, you're rather discouraged. Don't be discouraged when you have evil dreams. When you wake up, it means turn the battle to another level. Am I speaking to somebody? Yes. Amen. Yes. If you are waiting to see good dreams before you are happy, then it will take longer because the background will not allow you. Amen. So whilst you have good one today, tomorrow bad, you continue the journey. Right. On whatever, back whatever. You can never come back. Yes. Praise God. So, Abraham was the model of faith, or is the model of faith still, patterning, and we are patterning after the order of Abraham. Praise God. And he says, get you out of your country, because there's a basic spirit that rules over every country. And you and I, we know the spirit. The spirit of domineer, uh, domineering and the spirit of control. That in this country, you can hardly get to the top if you are not a politician. Okay, if you are not a thief, a robber, if I we call it if I, pro, eh? corruption, pro, eh? <laughs> and then the thing has rotten, pro, eh? praise the Lord. So there is a spirit that rule over every country. In this country, people can hardly own their own businesses. They always have to be under. And sometimes when you go to the Lebanese shops, you go to the Chinese restaurant, you see how blacks are dedicated to the services of foreigners. And they do it for all their blood. They bet their lives on it. That I will serve this man till I die. But they can never serve a fellow black man. They will be disloyal. It's a spirit that rule over this country. That in this country, we don't love our own. We can't celebrate our own. Whoever is at the top, they'll do something to bring the person down. And when the person is all over in the media, then it's working. Yeah. Like I, 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 I gave you a proverb before. Yes, it's a woman said, Obi Binibi Syria. So, who chow in here? Who was in Yokubi Huna Chirino? I don't know. So, in order to make maximum impact, then we have to be loose, delivered. From the spirit of this country. Praise God. So he said, get you out. Say from today. I get out. From the spirit. Of Ghana. By fire. fire. Yeah. The spirit that manages. The spirit that is. Afraid 
to get to the top. Very, very afraid. Why? Because of what people will say. In this country, as soon as God starts raising you up, you will lose your friends. Many of you are here now. You, you will lose your friends. Because so long as you are sharing the same stories of poverty, of unhuntering, or hardship, oh, that's my good friend. That's my best friend. But as soon as God starts blessing you, you will realize that they start giving you attitude. It's not everybody who can take it when you are promoted above them in the office. They can't take it. And especially when this person is called a senior colleague. The MBA, Mabahate. And then they promote you over the person. It's another battle. It's you, you even wish that they didn't promote you. And that is the spirit of this country. So you must get you out of your country. Because the harm was stolen by his country. The man was supposed to be a father of nations and now the ham had left because it's the ham that we want. Half Abra, that one we don't want is the ham. The ham makes him father of nations. Praise God. So get you out of your country and from your kindred, please sit down, your kindred. Hey! Your kindred. What is a kindred? Your what? Blood, bloodline. Say bloodline. I am telling you, that's the fierce, the most fierce battle you will ever fight. Bloodline. Many of you, as soon as you start fasting or praying, you see yourself in a family house. That's the kindred. They say, where are you going? And remember, you were once like us. And remember, you'll be back. Remember, you'll be poor again. So, many people live all their lives to fight among family members. Yeah? Family. The family tie is stronger than anything because blood connectivities are strong. Blood links are strong. At least you can change your friends, but you can't change your brother. You can't change your sister. So one brother can go and carry a case and bring up on the family and everybody will be dying accordingly. And interestingly, they said they don't die first. Die kindred. When you want to go forward, somebody is doing some wire. You know, when we were children, we used to tie two grasses together and we hide, we'll be in a hideout. When women were passing to the riverside and they, they, they fall down, eh, 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 it's working. We grew with that spirit. That was the spirit. That's the spirit that we grew with. And then, and then the ones will be empowering us to do that. He said, we we'll tie the grass. we we'll tie the grass. And we tied it under. So you will never suspect anything. And when you are passing, your pot breaks. It's working. So, there is a remote controlling gadget that they use. So, wherever you are in this part of the world, they are able to control you aright and bring you back to your father's house. That is why it is no surprise that many people who die have to be taken to their native uh, villages or towns to be buried. People who say, don't take me, don't bury me in Accra. Take me back to my hometown. It's a spirit. It's a spirit. All great men, all great men who have died, if I had Nelson Mandela and all those people, they said, take me back to the native. Amen. It's serious. In the kindred, people die before their time. And another spirit that rules also Ghana is premature death against people who are at the top. Oh, haven't you seen it? Especially when you go to uh, the music industry whether uh, art and culture they call it, you see people rise. You and I, we are privy to Terry Bonchaka. As soon as the person is trying to rise, his own friends, they will wire him. He said, you are going too far. Hey, just come on uh, raps and somebody is doing like this. They are ready to kill him. <laughs> Baby, I can and because of that, they are ready to kill. And that guy, I think he died at the age of either 21 or 23. Died. Died very tragic death. Guy. Do you understand me? Oh, we are always ready to show the man was not speaking gospel. Who joined the gospel? Hmm? Amen. Sometimes the one you call gospel is noise. Sometimes people make sense with the secular music. 
Praise God. <laughs> a lot of them died. And when they died, it's working. Today you have people fighting among themselves. Uh, they call themselves uh, celebrities. You see Stone Boy, you see uh, Shatawale, you see all of them, they fight. It's the spirit of the country. This country does not celebrate her own. And when we hear artists are coming from Nigeria, <laughs> and then in Nigeria, they too, they don't love their own. They only love their own when they are outside the country, their country. So there's a spirit that rules over countries. Praise God. May God help us. In the name of Jesus. Very tragic deaths. Uh, somebody read news on BBC. One of the... Uh, so you ask the village spirit, are you not happy that a black man is also reading news? Is he not pride? He doesn't bring me any money, but I'm just proud of him. That at least one black man is there. They say, no. Now who you be? Who are you? Don't you know where you are coming from? Don't you know they don't rise? Don't you know they don't go forward? Fire! And then cardiac. No, you see, when the thing is not close to you, you don't feel it. But when the thing is very close to you, you will realize that death has done so much harm. So when you say, pray against the spirit of death, and you are trying to count your fingers, oh, Father, if it's your will, let me not die. Many priests could not continue with their priesthood by reason of premature death. You shall continue. I say you shall continue. In the name of Jesus, every spirit of death that is called the village spirit looking for your life, fire, the powers ruling the third world, demons of death, I come against them now. In the name of Jesus, shall I live? I will not die. And I will declare the words of the Lord. Say, I will live. I cannot die. Hey! Fire! Amen. We see very renowned pastors dying young. My friend, please sit down. My friend from Kenya, Kennedy, he was telling us, he was telling me how many bishops in the past four years have died in succession. Died like that. And they were killed. He said one of them was poisoned. He has been representing the whole of the Kenya charismatic uh, industry and then all the monies Benihin and then uh, Mauricio and other people bring for the crusade. They hand over the money to him because he was too faithful. He would do the thing and give them back the thing but the pastors were not happy. If God told some of us that this is how the ministry is, we will not even enter. Because by nature, I want my peaceful life. Now you can't have your life. Now somebody is angry. Or oh, you don't know by coming to here, uh, here somebody is angry already. Who is he? What does he say? That's why they're listing, they, they, will, they will destroy you. <laughs> In their books, there's something like messy. No, didn't you hear? Didn't you hear? And in this country, people can hardly be at the top for us not to say they are using juju. In this country, it's only juju people who are who are have risen. The cocoa bosoms and co. Now they do billboard, and when we are passing, we see the Islamic Kodesh, Akaukuri. <laughs> if it was a church they were building, pastors, they will go on radio. In fact, they will undermine and say, "Take the land from him." Hey, the number of people who have been going to Sunny FM that they should take me off, that they should take me off. Oh. What kind of country is this? He said, People are begging. I also want to be there. I also want to be there. I also want to be there. What kind of country is this? Hey. Ah, for Joy FM, Bobo. Who's? I'm supposed to be B 
being on Joy FM. But one, one man said, if they allow me, I will direct traffic that they have heard of me. <laughs> Villain spirit. <laughs> so, I was supposed to be there live, but a night to the event, the story changed. So, they just mentioned my name in passing. Because the man strictly warm that he's also organizing programs like this. And that if they allow me, because they have heard of me, they allow me to come. If they allow me to come, nobody will go there again. Meanwhile, his program is around 11. And we are doing prison break in the morning, 5 a.m. So which one is your problem? Which one is your own? That is why somebody can buy airtime just to insult, castigate, undermine, underrate, and under under his neighbor in this country. And that is when they are preaching the gospel. Islamic people don't insult themselves. Do you think that uh, Saributu does not have problems? He doesn't have weaknesses? He has a lot of wives. But you never see them talk about it. So, what kind of country with this? So, so long as you and your friends are talking about problems, okay, like, sorry, or oh, very close to you, when you meet, or oh, today nobody came to church, oh, is that oh, my own to oh, the same? Is that? Yeah, yeah, oh, dear, oh, yeah, oh, yeah. It's, oh, yeah, it's a system, you know, not And then they're happy. But as soon as you start making some waves, trains somewhere, they begin to question, what is he using? I'm using your father's face. <laughs> now your papa's face are the issues. <laughs> See, fire. <laughs> Amen. And uh, wherever the blacks are, all over the world, the, the, it's the same story. When somebody is making it in Hollywood, they want to investigate the secret, the source. And all these people eventually, they'll find out that they were using cocaine. And then when they are out of the system, yeah. They ask one player, why did you decide to naturalize in Europe? He said, oh, that is even the reason I'm on this platform. If I had not made that decision, you will never know me. Say fire. fire. And then, you also you know the other one. Which one? You move from where? Onto a land that I will show you. So, if God in service giving ticket for people to move, and you are telling me, oh, oh no, I was born there. These people are nice people. Already, you are not yourself. Hello? <laughs> they are finished already. Praise God. God in service telling, giving visa. To Abraham to move out. He said, Move out of your country, move out from your kindred, and move out from. But it was only even one person who followed him from the house, ne the nephew. He had mercy on the nephew. And look at what the nephew did to this, this man. No one does say move. And many of you, you need to move out by fire, by thunder. There are some of you, you give money to your families and then you don't see money again. You pray by fire, by thunder. But every day, oh, that's my mother. That's my father. If you're a warrior, he said, deny yourself. Even though you're not worthy of me. If you can't deny yourself in this kingdom. So you, didn't, you need to deny yourself first. He said, you deny father, you deny mother, and then come and follow me. So the cross is a rugged one. You need deniers. And some of you also, let me buy provisions in place of the money. And they have outside, inside the money is the provision. It's a link. It's a message. Praise God. So, you choose which one do you like? Your own hardship or your mama won't die. If you the suffer. Today, in the street, you can't be nice to anybody. Because when you give them coin, 
somebody from Niger will come and buy it later in the evening. There are people who do as if they are not working well. Don't be moved. In the night, those people are strong. There, there's a way they walk. To Abodo, to Shodeni, Nada Chibi. And if God has not opened your eyes, and you see that it was your auntie that stood there, wanting money. Because the Bible said that Satan has transformed himself into an angel of light. No marvel his ministers. So they can do that. They can transform into what? An angel of what? Of light. Say fire. fire. We decree today whoever is controlling you from your father's house, from your mother's house, die! Die. 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 So, these are the powers we are talking about. Look at Second Chronicles chapter twenty two, verse one. Second Chronicles chapter twenty two, verse one. And the inhabitants of Jerusalem made Ahaziah his youngest son king in his stead. For the band of men that came with the Arabians to the camp had slain all the elders. So Ahaziah, the son of Jero, Jehoram, king of Judah, reigned. From verse 2. Forty and two years old was Ahaziah when he began to reign. And he reigned one year in Jerusalem. His mother's name also was Atalia, the daughter Hey, Kabahosha. Anybody who marry a woman who is a witch, you are marrying a son. And the, and, the, and the mother is a witch. And so the Lord will take care of it. Like, like. So, wherever you see Ahaziah, you must avoid Ahaziah. Many of you have Ahaziahs around you. Your own battery, you have not finished. And now you are going to carry extra load. Of course, there's a book called Deliverance from Evil Load. An extra load. And you are going to carry fire. And the worst of all is that when you cannot see, that your mother-in-law is a top-notch marabou. And if you have a ministry, they will fight the ministry. They will fight it all. They will fight it. They will fight it. I, uh, hmm. Listen. And now somebody load you carry. It was also an opportunity. If you see any big tree in the forest, nobody they fell the tree. Ask questions. Oh, it's a message. <laughs> that, the strong message. It's a statement. <laughs> Please sit down. Let's not end the preaching like this. <laughs> Say fire. Hey! The mother's name was who? Atalia. The daughter of Omri. And remember, the Omri was also produced another one called Jezebel. So Jezebel was like the grandmother of Atalia. So it's like a dynasty of witches. There's a There's a ceiling. And the worst is when the mother-in-law has to be cooking into the house. And even some instances, the mother-in-law sleeps in between husband and wife. Oh, fire! Or if they don't sleep in between, she also sleeps in the room. Or early in the morning, she comes to pick the son away. My son, husband, please come. And if you, the woman... You don't know he speaks something against his mother. Hey! Kadakoba, Baba, Buddha, Batakudi, Kaba. And remember your own family today are waking you. And now you are going to another waking. So it's workability. They, they are waking. This one is working. This one is working. Working. Oh, fire. Evil man, they love fire. 
Die by fire. I tell you, fire, 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 fire. Whoever has married the son, today I pray, they lose, lose. Was later I saw the woman by face. Yeah, wow. If you see the woman, you don't need to be a spirit person to know that mm, there's something wrong. You know when we're even children, you see some old ladies, you know, mm, without any prophet. This one is not prophetic. You just know, mm, there's something wrong somewhere. Amen. You know me, Michelle, dear Paul. When I was a child, some two old ladies. Ay, yeah, yeah. They're like the headquarters of witches. I was watching them. I was not watching. Then they're like, mm, what am I watching them like that? <laughs> oh, fire. Oh, fire. And you know, when you are a child, you, you fear. When they speak, because you know that they can wear. Like one of my little cousins was sweeping the house and started singing. Ah, Jetoma, Bog, Bovoma, That is that witch. That evil spirit, go and tell them that Jesus is me. And then the woman came and said, If you don't stop the song now. <laughs> oh, fire! <laughs> hey! No, she came out. I said, Fire! Hey! He said, If you don't stop that song now, I'll show you the implication of the song. Then the lady said, Please, oh, I'm just singing my song. Oh. So she stopped sweeping and went out and called elders to beg the woman. No, she was an authority. The same woman I told you about that the son went to hoot at a bed. The bed flew and the son said, Who? And the son did it in the flesh. You know, with muscles. He went home and said, Oh, you were hooting at me. He said, said, how would I have known that you were the one? He said, you should have known. Ignorance is not an excuse. (laughs) After three days. It means you know too much to be alive. Fire. The daughter of Omri. Oh, fire. Oh, fire. 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 Hey. And sometimes it's not just the mother-in-law is also the father-in-law and sometimes the woman's mother also there's a ministry I know when you see the mother-in-law appear with combination of the daughter who is the man of God's wife This one, uh, express witchcraft. Express. Express witchcraft. When the man of God was going to marry, they advised him that, hey, this family, we know them. Oh, the Lord has spoken. Oh, stop on spirit. It's as witchcraft. It's a fire. But the Lord delivers today. He will also walk in the ways of the house of Ahab. Uh, son in law, what do you expect? You are married to Atalia. For his mother was his counselor. Hey! To do wickedly. Anyone who is your counselor. Ayadaka. Ask your neighbor who is your counselor. No, ask your neighbor who is your counselor. Hey! Say fire! For who? He said, for his mother was his counselor to do wickedly. So anything they would do in the house, they have to consult. They'll consult the mother. Uh, I want to buy rapper for my wife. How do you see it? <laughs> oh, fire! Oh, fire! Oh, fire! Oh, fire! Oh, fire! Fire! Hey, fire! Fire! And the mother will say, Anytime your wife is pregnant, let me know. Don't tell anybody. Let me know. Every evil visit. I say every evil visit to your father's house, to your family house, to your matrimonial home. Fire! In a wicked man, in a wicked woman. That are not signed to visit you in the matrimonial home. Catch fire. Say fire, 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 fire. Any mother in law that is on assignment 
all in the name of Omugo. Is it Omugo they call it? Omugo. Omugo is when you give birth. And your mother will come and bathe the child for you. We call it Omugo. Say Omugo. All in the name of Omugo. They come to manipulate. Especially when you have a patience or soccer. Who is your mother-in-law? Who has come to stay in the house? Let witchcraft die. No, counselor. Say counselor. No, ask your neighbor who is your counselor. Who is your advisor? Advisor. Your chief advisor in marriage. Who is your advisor? Hey! Who is your advisor? Because they can give you wicked counsel. Sometimes, somebody is interested in somebody, they will not let you know. But as soon as you ask them, don't go there. Hey, be careful. Hey, hey, hey. Africa. That's how Africa is. Fire. Hey, can you imagine Atala is somebody's counselor? Okay. <laughs> oh, fire. And then what the woman would do eventually is to seduce the man and turn the man's destiny so that the man and the woman now be having one thought so it will take two to do what to tango so the man is not different from the wife verse 4 wherefore he did evil in the sight of the lord like the house of ahab for they were his counselors after the death of his father to his destruction so a whole house was canceling him. Mm. Fire, fire, fire. And what happened? The five. He walked also after their counsel and went with Jehoram, Jehoram, the son of Ahab, king of Israel, to war against Hazel, king of Syria, at remote Gilead. And the Syrians smote Joram. One, one marriage. Verse 6. And he returned to be healed in Jezreel because of the wounds which were given him at Ramah when he fought against Hazel king of Syria. And Azariah the son of Jerome king of Judah went down to see Jerome the son of Ahab at Jezreel because he was what? So that was the kind of marriage he had. <laughs> Say fire. fire. Amen. Now let's jump to Verse 10. And so what is there? Verse 10. Verse 10. But when Atalia, the mother of Ahasia, saw that her son was dead, she arose and destroyed all the seed royal of the house of Judah. Now, they gave this guy counsel until he died. And as soon as the mother threw witchcraft, killed her own son, then she enthroned herself as the next king president of Ghana as the next queen, king queen. She enthroned herself. He said, if you don't like it, go die. If you try, I'll kill you. And pour oil on herself. He said, from today, I'm the queen. The spirit of Jezebel died by fire. So in the church, they are looking for the chiefest place to serve, where they can control, manipulate, subjugate. They speak. And then you have to do it. Somebody once said of a church, he said, the whole church is on her laps. On her lap. Cut off that lap by fire. Whoever has your life, your finances, your destiny on their lap, die by fire. Shout fire. Fire. She arose and destroyed all the seed royal. Every destroyer of royals in your family, of royals in your father's house, of the seed royal. They don't destroy anyone at all. They only destroy the seed royal. Today I pray. May God hide your destiny from the eyes of the vulture, from the eyes of the predators. Uh, in the name of Jesus, a thousand shall fall at your side, and a ten thousand shall fall at your right hand. It will not come nigh you. Only with your eyes you shall behold and see the reward of the wicked. May the Lord deliver your feet from the sins of the father. May the Lord pluck your feet from the Aneta, from the Asnesa, in the name of Jesus. Every power of witchcraft, let it die by fire. Die, 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 Atalia, die, Jezebel, die, 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 die. Amen. 
And one more. But Jehoshaphat, the daughter of the king, took Joash, the son of Ahisia, and stole him from among the king's sons that were slain, and put him in his nest in a vegetable. So Jehoshaphat, the daughter of the king, Jehoram, the wife of Joah the priest, for she was the sister of Ahaziah, hid him from Atalia, so that she slew him not. Because she, the dynasty of kings must continue. And if they kill all of them, it means that the kingship will move to another family. Today I pray, I don't know who they have killed already. But may God Almighty preserve your life. Sometimes you can see a family of men a family of women where they die one after the other they die before 40 some die before 50 i declare today may god almighty preserve your life from every evil eye every altar every deity every oracle every shrine that is claiming lives uh, i command you release now in the name of jesus say i am loser say by fire and by thunder say every swarm of bees i saw swarm of bees you know bees 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 the one that produces the honey. I just saw a swarm of bees. And it's symbolic of witchcraft. Every swarm of bees that is hovering over your family. That is hovering over your life. To pick another son. To pick another daughter. To pick another child. Let it die. Let it be roasted. Say fire. 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 I can't wait to pray. I don't know about you. I should pray this prayer. Especially if. If you are not even married yet, God shall miraculously deliver you. Your marriage will determine your destiny. Your marriage can determine your future. Your marriage can determine your next level. The Lord shall miraculously, even if you are the rebellion type. You know, some people they say, oh, uh, This is it's open social. May God, because of His calling, because of the call of God on your life, may God deliver you by fire, by thunder. Before you even pray about your wife or your husband, pray, Lord, what about the mother? It's a revelation. Because who follows you, the devil who follows you. As soon as the woman is following you, all the other demons will, why not? Mami Odende. Up out, didn't they? Say fire. fire. Sit down some more. Brothers, give me some good volume. Verse 12. And he was with them hid in the house of God. How many years? Six years. And Atalia reigned over the land. Whoever is reigning over your land, over your properties, over your ministry. Over your destiny shall die. Die. And in the seventh year, Jehoiada strengthened himself. May God raise people for you. And took the captains of hundreds. Azariah, the son of Jeho, Jeroham. And Ishmael, the son of Jehohanan. And Azariah, the son of Obed. And Messiah, the son of Adai, and Elishaphat, the son of Zikri, into covenant with him. Second Chronicles 23, verse 12. Now, the king was about being entombed. They wanted to unveil the new little boy. Oh, look at the kind of things that boy will, will fight. <laughs> yeah. Sometimes you are fighting not because of anything, but because of the kind of bloodline you were born from. Because of the kind of house. You are born in a place like Latte. You are already a warrior before you were born. Antoine Yama. <laughs> Fire. So don't be surprised of the dreams you'll be having. It's because of the blind line. The lineage. Some people who were born in the Buckingham Palace. Okay? They, they are, there are prayers they won't pray. So when they come and they see you clapping, fire, fire. No one understands. Prince Charles. <laughs> because
because they have lived. Okay? Prince Charles does not even wish that the mother would die. Okay, before he would reign. But if it was Africa, mm, oh, they would die, die by fire. Because the person will become Mugabe, will sit on everything. But among the whites, everything is, is, is just moving on. Praise God. Now when Natalia heard the noise of the people running and praising the king, she came to the people into the house of the Lord. So Atalia, they are everywhere. She heard a noise. The people were jubilating, shouting. The new king. Hail the king. Hail the king. She was surprised. Huh? Could there be any king apart from me, Atalia? <laughs> Say fire. <laughs> and then she wanted to see what was happening. And then and she looked. And behold, the king stood at his pillar at the entering in and the princes and the trumpets by the king. And all the people of the land rejoiced and sounded with trumpets also the singers, the choir, with instruments of music and such as taught to sing praise. Then Atalia rent her clothes and said, Tracing, tracing. <laughs> Abomination. <laughs> Abomination. Oh, fire. He said, Tracing, tracing. Atalia for you. Tracing, tracing, tracing. Because she couldn't, she couldn't understand it. That is why there's a lot of battle on your head. Sometimes you're just praying for 1,000 Ghana City and like by fire by thunder. It's Anatalia. They don't want you to prosper. Amen. But today we are declaring that every hand writing against your life receive fire. Then verse 14, what happened? And then Jehoiada, the priest, bought, brought out the captains of hundreds that were set over the host and said unto them, Have her forth of the ranges. And whoso follow her, let him be slain with the sword. For the priest said, Slay her not in the house of the Lord. If not, she will produce the atmosphere. So, we don't have blood here. And look at what happened. So, they laid hands on her today. Say, I lay hands. I lay hands. No, it's a prophetic thing you are doing. You know. Whatever you are doing here is highly symbolic in the realm of the spirit. He said, do what? Say, I lay hands. Say, I lay my hands on that wicked man, on that wicked woman. Whoever is tormenting my ministry, Whoever is disgracing my life, uh, die by fire, die by fire, die. Whoever will not allow my glory to settle, whoever will not allow my glory to shine, let them die, die, die. Say, I lay hold on them in my father's house, in my mother's house. Say, all the witches, all the wizards, I put you together. I lay my hands on you. What are you waiting for? So they lay hands on her, and when she was come to the entering of the horse gate, no, that is warfare. She went through the horse gate. The horse is symbolic of war. Warfare, warfare, amen. In this our uh, contemporary world, if you carry a ministry and you not do warfare, you are as good as dead. Do you understand me? You carry ministry is by warfare, by fire, by thunder. That is why all of us cannot preach the same thing. Uh -huh. Some people must rise who say Atalia must die. Atalia must die. There are people God anoint specially. Like the Jehus. They just come to fulfill a mission. Jezebel must die. Because Elijah, Elisha, they all prophesied about that evil woman. But somebody must rise to execute that business. And God anointed Jehu. And Jehu which was all about killing, killing. That man killed over 400 prophets. They said they killed them. He said, make sure nobody will escape. You know, they were all in a room like this. When he entered, he started jubilating. He said, even though Ahab served Baal little. Can you imagine? He said, I am come here so that who we'll serve Baal will take it to the next level. Oh, then the people say, hey, that's a new king. Heal him. That's a new king. And then, by then, they were seeing those who were the lost prophets. Then he said, make sure no, none of the lost prophets are slain with the, these evil people. Then the prophets of Baal, the Bible said from morning to evening, he slew everybody. There is a mighty sword in your hands. <laughs> now, sometimes when you read the Bible, you wonder, how did they slay? But you see, when you carry that anointing, as you are praying now, 
that prayer is turning into souls and is entering. Listen to me. At the gate of heaven, they will give you laurels. They will tell you, you kill the enemies of the Lord. There are people that must go. So they will stop killing. Now, you move through all the cemeteries. Uh, Osu Cemetery, Awudome Cemetery. And then you re read when the people were born and when they died. You notice that many of them died under 30. Some died under 40. And that is the spirit of Africa. People die before their time. But today, there is a new decree. God has anointed you specially to enter your background to undo what has been done. You shall be like Joash that has been preserved. You shall rise and take your place in destiny. You shall reign in the name of Jesus. Say, I tell you, I die. And what happened? Verse 16. Verse 16. And Joada made a covenant between him and between all the people and between the king that they should be the Lord's people. Verse 17. Then all the people went to the house of Baal and they broke down Baal because what was empowering the spirit of Atalia was the idols of Baal. Remember, Baal had drunk a lot of blood. The blood of the prophets. The blood of animals and all, what, all, all that. So it was empowering. So if you kill the woman, you must enter and break the altars and break what was empowering the spirit of witchcraft. And they broke his altars and his images in pieces and slew Matam. Say Matam. The priest of Baal before the altar. So every altar has a priest. In, the, in their days, it was Matam. Today, it could be your uncle. Who is called Mankrado? <laughs> Say every Matam in my father's house. Da! Even look, 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 hear the name alone. Hear the name alone. Or oh, every altar has a priest. And then they must receive fire. But we have said a lot of deep things that you must take something out of it. I said before you pray for the woman, pray, Lord. Which kind of family am I entering? Is it a, a family of Atalias? Or a family of Jezebel? You know, Jezebel was a little higher. Because of her sacrifices. Sacrifice so much that even Ba said, Oh, 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 Jezebel, you have over sacrificed. <laughs> and now Jezebel has become a model of witchery throughout all history. When you talk about mystery of Babylon, it's all about Jezebel. Her exploit, her hand went the west, are everywhere. Say fire. fire. And about um, demonic families. When you marry into a demonic family, a family of witches, a family of wizards. If you are not careful, you lose your ministry. You can't go for it. So before you pray for a woman, pray for the family. Oh Lord, who are they? And if you ignore the signals of God, you will live the rest of your life to pay for it.